So how are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> My name is Yashar and I'm from Iran. Thanks for not running away. <laughs> you know, a few friends the other day told me, you don't need to always announce where you're coming from for obvious reasons. You see, I live in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, you always need to justify your accent. Otherwise, some people may think you're working on a Borat audition. <laughs> Thanks. I like you too, thank you. Not that way, no, I like women. I meant I like that you like to joke. You don't, just like your brother, don't take it the wrong way. You got excited, huh? Half a glass coming out to me, it's okay. <laughs> Just joking with you, man. That's an unlucky one. So, I, a little bit about myself. I used to be a graduate student at the University of Oregon. My dream was to become a leftist university professor. But then 9-11 happened. So, I decided to make a new career choice. I moved down here to Los Angeles to become a terrorist. <laughs> and, uh, in, 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 the, in the movies, yeah. I'm not gonna blow you up, don't worry about that. You see, I thought I have a chance, because I'm born and raised an Iranian. I thought I could move down here, within a few weeks, make it as the next biggest terrorist celebrity. But it didn't go like that. I booked more non-terrorist commercials. They used to be fine with me, but my frustration and my psychological problems started when I saw this one Mexican guy got cast over me to blow himself up. That's bullshit. It's very disrespectful. Not because they're taking our jobs too. Oh, that's... that's okay. Mainly because these people didn't see my technical expertise. So I went and stopped the casting director and said, Sir, I'm born and raised an Iranian. The accent in bad English is not fabricated. Could you please tell me what does this guy Jesus know about jihad? <laughs> no? And the casting director said, Sir, I'm sorry, but you don't look terrorist at all. You look more like that gay guy Will from Will and Grace. <laughs> I didn't like that comment. <laughs> Thanks for laughing and cordial chuckles. These jokes are eight, nine, ten years old, so I'll just let you know. You know. Recently, a friend told me, Yashar, I've been coming to your shows for years, and when I come to a show, I need to drive for miles and miles, and I need to pay for a parking, and then I need to buy a ticket then I have to buy two drinks from these motherfuckers here. <laughs> but I don't have to listen to the same lame terrorist bullshit. Why do you not write something new? You know, the thing is, as I'm getting older, I'm just getting more bitter and resentful and angry. I'm just out of new ideas. I'm at the point that I just hate everybody right now. You knew with me, yeah. You know, I thought maybe it's time for me and you to go and register as a Republican. Yeah? yeah uh, did I fuck it up? I'm so sorry. But that's a joke, you know. Because I'm not a citizen yet, so... I like you guys here. You know? so. You guys look at me like you're constipated, but it's okay, you know? <laughs> audience is an audience, you know, you do. Um, people in Los Angeles many times mistake me for an Armenian. <laughs> you see, once I even mistake me for an Armenian. I... I no, not that much hair. So, uh, shut up, let me finish. Okay, I'm gonna go back. These, these things are over rehearsed, you know, when you heckle, I, you fuck me over. You know? I do. 
So let's try it again. Then this time, shut up, don't talk. Okay? So people often mistake me for an Armenian. Once I even mistake me for an Armenian. But this is true. I was at Glendal City Jail. And I, I was just picking up a friend. He had a DUI. You know? And there was this officer sitting at his desk and right behind him on the wall there were all these mug shots of Armenian gangsters in line. And I looked at them and they looked all very, very similar to my cousins and brothers. And while I was looking I saw, wow, there's like an empty spot in the middle. And I was like, wow, you know, if I had a mug shot it could go right in here. I felt like I'm Glendale's missing link. But then I noticed the officers looking back and forth at the mock shots in my face. He thought I'm trying to find myself and turn myself in. Then I started to shed my pants. So I had to explain. I said, sir, I'm here uh, to pick up a Frenchie, kind of DUI. I'm not Armenian. I'm Iranian. I can just turn myself in at Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> this this punchline required a bit of laughter. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you and I have something special going on, but it's okay. You see, you know, um, when you drink a lot, you you keep forgetting. The brain cells are lost to alcohol. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't do it. You're drinking. No? Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, when do I get the light to get out of here? Thank you so much. I love it. It's, it's worse than hell, but it's okay. And I, I like you guys too. You like you guys. And, like you too, you're smiling, you're kind of, you chuckle, and it's okay, it's cordial, it's polite. <laughs> you know, um, I lived in the States for 12 years now, but I still have this one bad Iranian habit of like constantly looking up. <laughs> yeah, well, ah, you fucked up the punchline. No, it's okay. Let's, let's just start a joke over it. This family here, just, they just came here to ruin my, no, no, I like you, I like you. So yeah, I've lived in the States for 12 years now. I still have this bad Iranian habit of constantly looking up. One of my friends told me, sure, in America, you need to make eye contact. It's rude. Well, I grew up in Iran. See, it's not going to be funny because of what you did. But okay, let me finish. In Iran, you have to look into the skies once every five seconds, making sure Americans are not bombing. Did you see what you did? I'm blaming it on you now. No. It's okay. But you see, um, the reason that we may get bombed is that we have a lot of oil and we don't own anti-aircrafts. And this motherfucker, Dick Cheney, is not dead yet. <laughs> After five heart attacks, motherfucker is not dead. And yeah, that's irrelevant to this ch chunk. But you know, I know. I know. That was totally irrelevant, but I love you. Yeah, he's a motherfucker. You know, he always complains. He, he says Obama is a bad president because he doesn't torture these Arabs and therefore the terrorists could attack the United States again. That's like saying you and I should go out and beat the shit out of a bunch of fat kids to fight against obesity. Backwarded logic. I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. You're not going to see me. Thank you so much.